Hi folks, welcome to the PTI farm. Today we're going to talk a little bit about feeding nitrogen to corn, but we're kind of doing it a different way. And I think this study that we've been working on here at the PTI farm has been one of the most controversial uh, topics we've had here at the farm. A year ago, it would have been June of 2023, we started bringing plasma technology to the PTI farm. And you see this machine next to me here. Uh, this is a machine from Green Lightning and it's plasma nitrogen technology. And so what this machine is trying to do is to take atmospheric nitrogen and allow that nitrogen to be converted to a plant available form to feed corn. Plasma nitrogen technology. And again, a year ago, we brought this technology in to see if it could be an effective way to feed nitrogen to corn. And so how this system works is it's very similar. Um, the, the company that the Green Lightning says this product is very similar to what happens during a rainstorm. When it's raining outside and there's lightning, you hear the big old crack of lightning, boom. When that lightning happens, there's a frequency change, a combustion change, some type of bonding change that happens in the atmosphere where the raindrops, if you will, are able to adhere some of that nitrogen, that atmospheric nitrogen, to that raindrop. When the raindrop then falls onto the leaf of a corn plant, some of that nitrogen, that atmospheric nitrogen, is potentially available to feed the corn plant. That's what we're studying here at the PTI farm. Does this work? Is this, could this be an effective way to feed corn? So this machine mimics, again, taking that atmospheric nitrogen and trying to convert some of it into a plant available form. This machine, basically we, we plug this in to your shop. We're, we're doing this at the farm gate. You plug this in inside your shop. It's just a, uh, a 110 volt um, a plug in, you bring water into this machine and it simulates that rainfall and, and trying to, again, take some of that atmospheric nitrogen and make it available to corn. The end result, after making the product, it drops into this mini bulk tank, a transfer tank, and then we can take it to the field, whether it's to the planter or whether it's to the sprayer. Now, one of the things that I think is very interesting with this nitrogen product is it's salt free and that changes the game a little bit when we think about applying nitrogen to corn since it doesn't have salt in it it can actually go in furrow on the planter next to the seed so in this trial behind me we've got some furrow jet studies where we're putting this in furrow at, at, at numerous rates per acre to see if we can um, we can get yield response um, from that application aspect. Again, since it doesn't have salt in this product, we could spray it foliar on corn. And this is something we've never been able to do. If you would take 32% UAN and spray it over top of corn, the salt load in that 32% UAN is going to burn the crop. It's going to cause considerable leaf damage. Again, this product doesn't have any salt, and so it opens the door up and allows us to apply it numerous times during the growing season. So. In this trial behind me, we've got five applications going on here. We've got soil applied applications with the planter in furrow and conceal. We've got foliar applications throughout the growing season. And then when we do our fungicide applications uh, late in the season, we're using this as our carrier instead of water. So all the way through the season, we're continuing to apply this to see if we can get yield benefit. And to me, the goal is, can we produce a nitrogen product for corn, to, you know, to feed corn effectively, but can I do it in a manner where I can reduce the cost of nitrogen on a per acre basis? Nitrogen is one of the largest crop inputs we have that we have to pay for each and every single year, and I'm looking at it as a way, can, can, I, can I make it myself, apply it to my corn, feed it effectively, save money on a per acre basis? That's, that's some of the things that we're, we're looking at with this. All right, so this trial behind me is, is almost ready to harvest. We're going to get to it in a, in a few days here. But I want to show you the data we collected in year number one, which was a year ago in 2023. 
this will be our second year of testing this product. You know, since it's nitrogen made from atmospheric nitrogen, we thought first and foremost, we ought to test this in an organic situation. Uh, organic corn needs nitrogen, but really the only thing that's approved is, is manure. And, and to me, that's been a little bit challenging getting access to it. So I said, you know what? This product needs to be tested in organics first. And let's see what, see what we can do with it. So we do have some organic corn here at the PTI farm. And I'll never be approved organic because we're always taking a, a commercial nitrogen program and comparing it to the organic to see the yield difference. So I had organic corn with a full rate of 180 pounds of nitrogen with commercial fertilizer. And this is irrigated, 260 some bushel corn. I removed the nitrogen completely on that organic corn and I lost 98 bushel corn to the acre. And it just goes to show you that I needed to apply nitrogen somehow to this organic corn. We then come in with our homemade nitrogen, okay, the plasma technology. And we would never applied this to corn. And as far as I know, it had never been applied on any corn in the world that I know of. And so it's not like it came with an owner's manual and said, apply this many gallons per acre. It didn't have that. So we tried to rate test it where we were looking at 86% levels of our full nitrogen program and then went all the way up to 200% to, to live in this bell curve world of let's figure out what rate is not enough. Let's figure out a sweet spot and let's figure out the law of diminishing returns of applying too much. What we found is that we had to apply more than what I thought. We got to the 200% rates. That's what it took to actually get this product to compete with commercial nitrogen and it beat it by 14 bushel to the acre. But I had to basically do a two to one ratio and I, I never saw the bell curve starting to fall down. I never saw the law of diminishing returns. But what it did tell me is that, for example, if you're used to putting on 50 gallon of 32% UAN, this product, I needed twice that. I needed that 50 times two, which would be 100 gallon to the acre. But we saw that, that it worked and you know, we lost some yield at, at lower rate levels, but once we got to a two to one ratio, we saw it actually beating commercial UAN fertilizer. So we were kind of happy with that. That looked really well. And the corn looked fabulous all through the growing season. I do think it worked, worked very well on this organic corn. So, so this was organics. It seemed to work very well, but then we thought, let's go to commercial corn. Okay, there's going to be more acres, there's going to be more people involved in that. Let's go to some commercial corn and see if it'll work with that type of environment. Now, we brought the machine in in June, as I mentioned earlier, and that was pretty late in the season. I already had corn planted. I already had corn um, uh, applied with nitrogen. I already had it up out of the ground, but I still needed to side dress yet. So I said, okay, I'm going to bring this homemade nitrogen in, and I'm going to put it on this commercial corn in a side dress. I still needed to side dress. I'm going to replace the UAN with this and see what happens. This is dry land corn. We're running with our full nitrogen program of 225 pounds of N, corn after corn, running 257 bushel corn. I remove the side dress component. I don't put on any additional nitrogen in the side dress, and I lost 60 bushel of corn. Again, it just goes to show you that this corn needed more nitrogen. I needed the side dress. We come in with the homemade nitrogen, the plasma technology, and I lost yield. I lost from about four bushel to seven bushel on a per acre basis using this plasma technology versus UAN 32%. However, even though I lost a little bit of yield here, which I don't know if this is really substantial, four to seven bushel, the big difference is the cost of making this homemade nitrogen or plasma technology. When, when I look at the economics, a one-to-one -one ratio in this scenario, I'm making an extra $53 an acre net because of the cost difference. A year ago, my nitrogen, my 32% UAN, was costing me $3.12 a gallon to purchase it from my local ag retailer. With this plasma technology, me making this nitrogen in the shop at the PTI farm, my cost was $0.04 cents a gallon. $0.04. Cents. That's a 98.9% reduction in nitrogen cost. And that's really what got me excited about this. I said, wow, one of the largest crop inputs. Could I make a, a portion of my own nitrogen at the farm, feed corn effectively, and make more money on a per acre basis? 
One of the other things we're, we're thinking about is, as far as an environmental aspect is, this nitrogen is made from atmospheric nitrogen. So not only is it organic, but it's totally environmentally friendly. We have a water retention program here at the PTI farm where we're, we're bringing water in from tile. That's rainfall from tile, and we have to monitor it for nitrates uh, during the year. This potential nitrogen source, if it would get into water, I don't think it matters. It's a totally environmentally friendly product. So lots of neat things happening with this product. We just need to, we just need to test it and see if it actually works. Academia says, we say this all the time at the BTI farm, academia will tell you it takes three years to prove whether something's repeatable. I am on year number two here in 2024. So not only do we need to harvest this year's crop, but I need to test it again next year to find out what we've got here with this particular product. But, but uh, interesting product, um, very controversial in, in, um, in, in many forms, but it's outside of the box thinking. We like that. We like to test that here at the PTI farm. We'll bring you more data as we bring it in with this plasma nitrogen technology. Thanks for watching.